Hello and welcome to um, my second presentation. Um, if you have been around for a little bit, my name is Edward James. I am the Minister of Music here at the Tabernacle Baptist Church. Um, you see me on Sundays playing the piano and inviting you um, to our service. So I just want to thank you and take the time to thank everyone who's watching on Facebook, uh, whether it be our Tabernacle members who are a member of this actual church, or if it is a family member of those Tabernacle people, or just someone who is um, perusing through Facebook, we thank you for coming in. YouTube, we thank you for coming in to this broadcast and to our series of shows that we have for you. Um, but today I'm going to extend my series um, because again, if you have been around for a little bit, I did a series on how to connect to Zoom through this pandemic. And today I'm gonna to be talking about why Facebook and YouTube which is a guided tour and synopsis of uh, why Facebook and YouTube has become so popular, especially in this time right now, and how we as churches and those who are just beginning in the field of media, um, how can we take this and use this to our advantage? So um, if that next slide, you can see the Facebook logo. We're all familiar with that blue and white um, screen and text. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people have Facebook pages. Um, a lot of our, our seniors, uh, senior citizens here at this church, they are now starting to have Facebook pages. Uh, it is, in, term, in, this, in this country, it's the second most used platform uh, that we have, second to YouTube. If we go back to um, that third slide, you can see right there that that is our Facebook page. Now, if you are not subscribed to our Facebook page, type in the search, The Tabernacle Baptist Church, and you'll see our purple and gold logo. You're going to um, then uh, subscribe or click like, and then anytime we post stuff, it will show up on your feed or um, if you go searching, it'll be one of the uh, top things that uh, you see when you search for it. Um, but the most important thing is on that next slide is why are we on Facebook and why are we doing these shows? Well, for the most part, we have our main uh, live stream, which is our Sunday service. Obviously, through the pandemic, a lot of things have been shut down. We want to make sure that a lot of our members are safe and are healthy. And so in doing so, we have been putting a lot of our content online, including our Sunday morning service. And this is just another tool in order to share the gospel on your personal page. I have been saying it for a couple Sundays now, but when you come into the live stream, especially on Facebook, I ask that you immediately share it to your page. If you look on that slide, you'll see the share that's going to be underneath the current video. It should be live. Um, you'll probably see Gigi um, uh, giving you a synopsis of the Sunday uh, school lesson. And we want you to share it immediately to your personal page. Why do we want you to do that? Is because we want to be able to share the gospel with as many people as we can. So we want you to share it to your personal page so that your circle of influence can see the broadcast and not just you. On to the next slide. Once you share that, um, or once you hit share, what will come down, as you see circled in the yellow, you'll see share now um, and make it public, which means it'll immediately be posted to your page. Uh, share to your story, which is just another way that you can share it on your page. You can copy the link and you can paste it wherever you like, like to paste it. If you would like to email it to someone, you can do so by copying your link and pasting it in your email so that they can see it that way. But you click share now to share it immediately to your page and it will show up on your personal page. And on the next slide, uh, the picture on the left, you see um, that first arrow that it, it's pointing to the circled three dots. I want you to click on those three dots. 
And the reason why I want you to click on those three dots is because of the um, uh, options that it gives you once you click on those dots. And the first one says save video. You can save the video to your personal videos on your page so that you can recall it on your page and you don't have to go to the Tabernacle page. But second, I highlighted uh, underlined edit post. And I want you to click that, edit post. And what will happen is what's on the next picture that says, what's on your mind, Edward? This is my personal page. And it's telling me that because it's asking me to write something that is pertinent to what I'm about to post. And after you have shared it and after you have clicked on that post on your personal page and hit edit post, I want you to say, welcome to Tabernacle Baptist Church, or this is my church, or come to church with me, or come on in and worship with us, or come on in and like and, sh and share this video to your page so that we can get more traction of people uh, in your circle of influence to see the broadcast every single Sunday. As we go to the next page, why? Why are we doing all of this? Well, number one is to have further engagement with our church. As I said before, we are in um, a, bit of a bit of a holding pattern right now because we want to make sure that every single one of our members are safe and sound and healthy. We want to make sure that um, we are uh, adhering to the guidelines that have been set by the CDC and by our governor uh, so that we can be and maintain social distancing as much as we can in the household of God. But we do not want to lose engagement with our church members and our church members and friends and their family. So we want you to engage like on the video, when you see, um, write in a comment as you see the live stream going up, hit the hearts and hit the laugh emoji, hit the thumbs up. We want you to engage with us. Tell us when you don't see the picture or tell us when the sound is too loud or maybe the sound is too low or encourage pastor to preach even though you're not here at the church or encourage our, um, our musicians and our singers to sing to the glory of God or we just want to have that engagement. We still want to be um, with you. We still want to uh, know that you're still there even though we cannot see you. Number two, engagement with your friends and family. I've said it a, a couple times already, but we want you to share this to your personal page so that your friends and family know that you go to Tabernacle Baptist Church or that this message is timely and that this message is going to bless your life. And so I'm showing it on my page so that you can see it and hopefully they will see it and share it to their page so that their circle of uh, uh, influence can be blessed and the circle grows ever wider. The third, you've heard me say this a, a, a few times now, circle of influence, spreading the gospel among your circle of influence. This is just another platform where we can do what the word says and go out and teach the gospel and baptizing people. This is just a digital way of doing that. If we go to the next slide, we're going to go on to YouTube. Now, YouTube is a different animal. Um, because you can watch YouTube and you don't necessarily have to be uh, uh, logged in. But I'm going to ask you to do something special. We can go on to the next page, uh, the next slide. This is the YouTube. This is without me being signed on. This is my personal YouTube uh, uh, screen. And in that top right corner, you will see sign in. Now, if you have a Google account, this will probably be a lot easier for you because YouTube and Google are partners. And so if you have a Gmail, once you hit sign in, it will give you an option to go ahead and um, sign in with your Gmail account. And it'll make it a lot easier. If you have a Facebook page and you've gone through the prompts in order to sign in and log into Facebook, YouTube is incredibly similar. If we go on to that next slide, you can see it says to choose an account. I already have a Gmail account, and so I just click that, and um, 
I'm already in because I've already signed up for YouTube as a, um, a member and a subscriber. If we go to the next slide, now I'm on my personal YouTube page after I sign in. Now, there are many channels on YouTube, millions of them, tens of millions of them actually. And I, if you see on the left side of the screen, kind of down towards the bottom, you can see something that's called subscriptions. You can subscribe to as many channels as you want. Um, you can see some of mine right there. I'm subscribed to about of uh, between 50 and 60 of them. That way, when I go to YouTube, their videos are the first things that pop up onto my feed because those are the ones that I like to watch the most of those channels. But we're gonna ask you to do something special. So after you've signed in, we want you to go to the search that's at the top and you're going to see, I, I only typed in the, and the first thing that popped up was the Tabernacle Baptist Church because um, I'm always searching for a Tabernacle Baptist Church even when I um, uh, uh, copy the link to my Facebook page or is already kind of aware what I'm going to do. So it just so happens to be the topmost search for me. It may not be the topmost search for you, so you may have to put in the whole the Tabernacle Baptist Church, but when you do, go to the next page or the next slide, you will see our logo and you will see the Tabernacle Baptist Church. On your screen, it will say subscribed and you'll see that little bell, that gray bell emoji beside it. For you, it may not look like that. It may just say subscribe and it'll be red. We want you to, if you get to this page, there are several other Tabernacle Baptist Churches in this country, so it may not show up right at the top for you, but if you look for that uh, b purple shield with the gold um, frame around it, that is us, the Tabernacle Baptist Church, um, and we want you to subscribe. Hit that red button, subscribe. I'll tell you why in a little bit, and I want you to hit that notification bell that's right beside it. We're gonna go to the next slide. The reason why I want you to hit subscribe is because I want you to be aware of every single show that we have uh, available for you on the channel. Think of the Tabernacle Baptist Church channel as a TV station, just like CBS or NBC or ABC or TBN or um, CBS. Think of us as your TV channel so that when you log in to YouTube and you go to the Tabernacle Baptist Church YouTube channel, we have regular, everyday programming for you that you can watch. So when you subscribe, the first thing that you're going to see that scrolls on your, or your video feed is our videos um, if we've had a new video that comes out. And it'll notify you when we have a new video. And the way you'll get those notifications is if you hit that little bell beside it and you'll have three options, all personalized, none. We want you to hit all so that you can be aware of every single um, video that we have available for you as it comes out. Why, again, on that next slide, why all of this? Well, number one, it's where a lot of per people consume media. I want to give you a couple stats, and it'll be on that next slide. Um, YouTube has 2 billion logged in monthly users. Let's sit on that for a little bit. I'll say it again. YouTube has 2 billion logged in monthly users. And 81% of 15 to 25 year olds in the US use YouTube. It is a giant platform. There are many YouTubers who have channels that have millions of subscribers and they uh, steadily watch their videos. 
uh, the next slide, it will say millennials stand out for their technology use, but older generations also embrace digital life. Now, I added this because this is a Pew Research Center study. Um, hopefully, we can make it available. Um, I'll ask our uh, media director if he can make it available in the YouTube uh, paragraph so that you can click and look at the whole study. But it's basically saying that not just millennials are embracing uh, technology. A lot of the older generations from uh, the Gen Xers, uh, the baby boomers, um, and the uh, generation before that, which would be the silent generation, they are embracing technology, especially during this time when you're at home. And really, the only way that you can kind of stay connected is through Zoom or through Facebook or through YouTube. And we want to be also that bridge that connects you, not just to your friends and your family, but to your house of worship. I just wanted to add that in so you can read that whole study if you would like to. If we go back to that slide that has those uh, reasons why. Number two, just like Facebook, engagement with your friends and family who may not be on Facebook. Facebook is a bit uh, specialized because really the only people that see your content are your friends um, if your page isn't public. But many times for the average user, probably the only people that are seeing your content or what you post are your friends and your family. And a lot of times that extends to the Tabernacle Facebook page. Only people that are really seeing that are the people who are quite aware of the church and of the church broadcast through our members and their family and their friends. YouTube is a different animal because YouTube is public. So there are really no uh, friends or friend requests. So anybody can view the video at any time. So you can be a lot more keyed in to people because you literally have billions of people readily um, able to view your content at any time. Which leads me to number three, spreading the gospel on a global scale. So Facebook is kind of, localized because obviously on your Facebook page it's usually the people that are in your, your, your sphere and the church's sphere. But on YouTube, anybody, not just from this country but from abroad, can see the broadcast. And they don't even have to, to actually be signed in or, or um, have a channel themselves. They can go to youtube.com, go to the Tabernacle Baptist Church, and they can watch the video just like that. The next slide is something that I am so proud of this church uh, for, and that is probably as I'm saying this, our church has garnered 100,000 views on our YouTube channel which is amazing. That's 100,000 different people <laughs> views on our channel. We have, I believe, uh, at the current moment, as I'm speaking right now, 193 subscribers, 88 videos. So, and we have a lot of wide range of things for you to view, but I am so proud of the Tabernacle Baptist Church. And Tabernacle members, you should be proud as well because we are reaching thousands of people every single week. And we haven't even really been on YouTube um, that long. Um, I, I don't know when the page was started, but, but I know it's only really been a short time. Uh, I'm gonna break the fourth wall here. Kurt, can you tell me how, how long? April, beginning of May. Beginning of May to right now. That is uh, an 88 videos from May to now, 198 subscribers, 100,000 views. That is amazing. And it's all for the glory of God. So can you imagine how many more people that you can invite through your own personal sphere of influence to the channel so that they can view the content and how we can uh, make sure that everybody 
your saved friends as well as your unsaved friends, your saved family members as well as your unsaved family members, how they all can be invited to come and view the content that we have that is blessed, that is powerful, that is timely, that is on point for this generation and this day and time, to come and view uh, all the videos so that you can be uh, clued in on how to live uh, a right standing life with Christ. Um, we talk about voting, we have cooking classes, we have everything, things that make you laugh, things that'll make you cry, things that will make you think, things that will make you worship or cause you to worship. We just want to invite as many people as we can in and we would like to invite you to be one of those catalysts for getting people uh, to tune into the channel. The last slide is um, basically our programming. So on, on the Tabernacle Baptist Church uh, uh, channel, we have six shows. So Monday through Friday, we're off on the Saturday, uh, Saturdays of the week, and we're back here on Sunday. But Monday at 6.30 p.m., we have our youth expressions where we invite youth from the community to display their talents. On Tuesday at 6.30, we have Tabernacle Talks, where we have a dynamic, uh, power-filled, um, power-packed uh, topics that uh, I'm sure you will enjoy. Wednesdays at 6.30, we have the Trumpet Series. Thursday at 6.30, we have the Voters Series, which we kind of just started as we're coming into, um, well, we're in the election season, but we're coming up to the presidential election. Friday at 6.30, we have a momentary message. Um, again, we're off on that Saturday, and Sunday, we're right back here with our church uh, broadcast. I just want to thank you for tuning in to this show. I know it's a lot of information, and I know that some of you is new to you, but I invite you to go um, uh, share and like the Facebook posts uh, that, we, that we present and that we put out. I invite you to go to YouTube. Um, all of the videos that are on Facebook are on YouTube, but I invite you to go and look at them anyway. Look at them all over again. Save them. Uh, have notes. I know that uh, my friends and I have been um, uh, having a socially distanced get-together where we, we view content on YouTube, we pause it, and we talk about it. And we've had some very in-depth conversations. So I invite you to even do that. When pastor uh, preaches the message, I invite you to maybe have a couple of friends over or maybe a family member or maybe your husband or your wife or, or children if your children live in the home to uh, rewind and go back over those messages and uh, pause them and talk about the points that pastor or any of our other ministers lays out so that you can be clear on what's being said and that you can come into a better uh, a knowledge of Jesus Christ. Here we subscribe to prayer, Bible, and stewardship, where that is fervent prayer, where we read our Bibles to have clarity, and where we have stewardship to not just read but be a doer of the Holy Word of God. So I thank you for tuning into this video. I'll, I'll probably be back with the third installment of how to work this social media. But as of right now, my name is Edward James, and I'm signing off wherever you may be watching this. Bye-bye Facebook. Bye-bye YouTube.